Good morning, everyone. How are you? I hope you're staying warm today. It's very cold here in Kansas City. We had a front come in and it dropped from 55. I was out raking leaves yesterday to uh, it's now four degrees. So, you know, it happens. But you know, the way the weather is so extreme, it kind of uh, is indicative of where we are in the world right now and in you know our spiritual growth and our ascension process because the world is going through its own form of ascension and everybody's going to go through it at their own level but there are things that we're going to go through on a collective level say hi Izzy um, through a, on a collective level and what I what I realized yesterday or actually I realized this last week but I, and I had to wait till today to share it with you is that the world is going through a collective dark night of the soul I it, you know it's like I, I understood that we were in the great tribulations talked about in revelations I mean you know I was well versed in the Bible growing up going to church every week but I never connected that to a dark night of the soul it's like you know you you had the pieces but you don't pull them all together and I was also aware that you know humanity would have to go through a great shift a shift in the ages but also a shift in consciousness to create that shift in the ages the way that we wanted to because this isn't just a normal shift in the ages and to do that we would have to deconstruct our world and rebuild it and so when I put those two pieces together it's like ah this is fabulous because now I get it since it's a dark night of the soul, we can get through it. See, when I grew up hearing about the Great Tribulations, about how, you know, we would all search for death and not find it. It would be so horrific. I, I lived in the grips of that terror for years and years and years. In fact, that was a terror that got me moving uh, onto the ascension path and the spiritual path, trying to find out if that's actually real and can I safely let go of it. The other day when I realized that we were in a collective dark night of the soul, that's what that meant in tribulations. The great tribulations are collective dark night of the soul. It's like all of a sudden I was released from that grip of fear because I realized, you know what? I've been through a dark night of the soul. I've been through two or three of them on the ascension path and I know I can survive those and I know what it takes to, to get through it to the other side. So that's going to be the topic of my next video is how to get through a dark night of the soul. But this video was just to make us, it was to just share this with you that, you know, we are in a collective dark night of the soul. And the reason why is because the uh, United States is like the big brother, you know, and we're also the micro, microcosm of the macrocosm. Just like the United States is a melting pot of all these different cultures and races around the world, on a galactic level, we represent a, multi, a, multi, a melting pot as well because we are we have 50% of all the star seeds right here in the United States. So that's kind of a melting part of, inter, of intergalactic and galactic and universal races that are down here in this grand game of polarity integration, the integration of the light and dark. So we have three now three years to get through this trans, this shift in consciousness in order to on the other side of 2012 when we cross the galactic equator um, begin to create the reality we want and of course it makes sense you can't create a reality a new reality unless you deconstruct the old one so as of this summer which would be three and a half years till 2012 uh, we began that process and we began by deconstructing our financial system and it's now taking uh, making an impact on our big industry we've got industries and banks that are you know they're about to fail oh that that bell sound no it's not a reindeer it's Izzy <laughs> it's a bell around her neck or on her collar it lets me know where she is at any given time and if you knew Izzy you, you definitely want to know that so anyway back to the dark night of the soul um, because the United States financial system is tied to the to the global economy because our currency is a world reserve currency whatever we go through will impact all the other countries involved with us so we are basically taking the world into the dark night of the soul and that was our soul level job I mean it was a collective soul agreement that the people in the United States even those who are here uh, who are, aren't even citizens yet 
Um, they're here at this time because they also had that on their soul contracts to uh, take the world through the dark night of the soul. And we as Star Siege, you know, we came from the future into the past to change the things that didn't work out in the future. And the fact that we're in this dark night of the soul tells us that, okay, we now know what it is we got to change. So, like I said, the next topic uh, for next week's video is how to move through this collective global dark night of the soul so, we'll, so that when we come out of it toward the end of 2012, we will be able to achieve our goal, which is to create a new reality. So, stay well, stay warm, and I will talk to you next week. should be an exciting one. Bye-bye.